All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Rams TV. So for today, we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 leak video as usual. But for today's leak, I actually need to thank Video Madness for bringing this to my attention in the comment section down below. Now, before we get into the leaks, be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so this leak is crazy. It's also super long. It looks like a whole essay that's written. And in it, they explain that we're going to get Havoc, Ash Williams, Candyman and a DC guest character as well as Combat Pack 3 and MK11 Which is pretty crazy to think all that's coming. But anyways before I show you guys that leak Let's get to the comments of the day So first up we have who influenced you to do YouTube videos about Mortal Kombat and Injustice games Now I actually got myself into Injustice because I love DC and superheroes But once I got into that the main youtubers I would watch were definitely Caboose, Uncaged Games and Super Anyways, next up we have, what's your thoughts about the whole WB selling possibly Netherrealm? So I don't know if you guys have heard about that, but AT&T who owns WB is actually selling the company, meaning that whoever, or better said, the current owner of NRS and the Mortal Kombat games and Injustice games is going to be sold to someone else. Now, I don't think that's going to stop anything. We'll still get Mortal Kombat and Injustice games. It's just going to be under a different company, which in my opinion doesn't really matter that much. Anyways, lastly we have, hey man, I really love the content, but do you ever plan on uploading videos that aren't leaks, such as gameplay videos that isn't in the background of the leak videos? Now, yes, I would love to upload gameplay videos, but in my opinion, there's already so many other people doing that, that it would just be useless for me to add on to something that's already like oversaturated. Meanwhile, there aren't that many Mortal Kombat leak channels out there, so I definitely enjoy doing that. And on top of that, I just love speculating and looking at all the possibilities that could happen in the game. Like, all that stuff is honestly my passion. So, for now, no. I'm just going to keep doing these videos, and obviously I'll be covering any news that comes out. Or if Injustice 3 gets announced, I'm so covering that game. But anyways, let's get to the leak, guys. So go ahead and check it out. Now, like I said, it, this is a lot. But anyways, no time to waste. Let's get to reading. I'm not going to share any personal information about me as I don't need me or my friend's dad getting in trouble. Before you instantly call this fake, yes, I do know someone that works with Netherrealm Studios. Now on with the leaks. Me and my friend are huge MK nerds, like top notch. We begged my friend's dad for a little insight, he budged. So the whole warrior combat pack thing was absolute bull. Xena, Xena won't be in the game, instead we should just be getting a normal combat pack. My friend's dad revealed that one of these characters is indeed Havoc and the other three will consist of one more MK character and two guests. One of the guests is going to be Candyman, as he has his new movie in September. The other one is a DC character, which is why this combat pack is planned to be revealed at the DC Fandom event. Uh, Michael Myers was brought up, but I guess they thought he wouldn't fit in the theme. At least that's what my friend's dad tells me. These characters are planned to be spread out through the year, just like Combat Pack 1, and we should all we should get our final DLC character by January 2021. Skin packs are also included with this pack. The, this Combat Pack will be cheaper than Combat Pack 1, but I am unaware of the exact price. Combat Pack 3 is still in early development. This pack will only have one guest, along with three MK characters. The guest is, of course, Ash Williams. He was initially planned for Combat Pack 1, but Campbell wanted maximum effort put into the character, which is why the team is taking so long working on him. This Combat Pack will include packs. Wait, what? Well, oh, will include skin packs and will be revealed late April. We should get the final character around August 2021. A final edition for the game will be revealed and released sometime in February of 2022. This will contain all DLC content and updates as well as 4 new stages, one of them is being the Pyramid of Argus. I don't know the exact pricing, that's all I have to say, stay safe guys. Now damn, was that a mouthful. But anyway guys, he says so many things in that leak and honestly the main part that throws me off, believe it or not, is Ash Williams taking long because they want to put maximum effort. They want to make it like perfect with this one. It's like so they're taking super long. Like that just makes no sense. All the other DLC characters seem perfectly fine. So I don't know what more perfection they were gonna put on Ash Williams. So that part seems complete BS. On top of that, his friend's dad 
Like, I don't know, I mean, if, if a friend's dad works in the other, I mean, he tells his kids, who are clearly young kids who enjoy the game, he would have probably assumed they were going to leak that. So that seems kind of illogical for the dad to actually do. But in my, in my case, like, I don't know, guys, maybe, maybe he did. But in my opinion, this is just BS. It is complete BS. Obviously, some people think it's true, some will think it's false. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts on that leak in the comment section down below. Do you think it's true? Do you think it's false? Why? Let me know all of that. Other than that, be sure to stay subscribed for more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and peace.